Hey, what is going on, Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode. Ladies and gentlemen, big day today, big Monday, uh, and what a way to start the week. We are going on to the God of High School Season 1, Episode 13, the season finale. Guys, it's coming to a close, uh, you know. A huge announcement, right, when when Crunchyroll announced that they were bringing Manwa to their platform, right, and they were sort of, you know, getting behind it, sponsoring it, um, helping to get the ball rolling. Um, obviously, a big hit with Tower of God to begin things off, and the second of the big three, God of High School, is coming to a close today. Um, you know, e exciting things ahead, of course. You know, we had e excitement with um, Jagal you know, ingesting the key last week, you know, he almost ascends to this godlike being, you know, what's going to happen this week, you know, what sort of power evolutions are we going to see? I have a feeling, you know, Mori is going to have some sort of power up this week and, you know, we're sort of probably, we're probably going to be left on a cliffhanger is what I'm thinking. Cliffhanger, you know, hopefully to, you know, draw interest amongst, you know, people who haven't watched, people who are just watching, right? It's going to be something to drive hype and, and hopefully to catapult, you know, God of High School into further seasons. I think that's what Crunchyroll and, and MAPPA's aim is. Um, so, but, you know, before we get into the episode, I have a couple minutes before it actually airs. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, break down what I thought about season one real quick. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys will be able to hop right into the episode. Um, but, you know, I have like, you know, two minutes before it airs uh, and I want to get my thoughts out before uh, just the whole season one. So um, overall, I would say it was a good show. It was good to great. Um, you know, it had great moments. You know, there were there, there were I think that earlier on, I think that the animation was better. Now, MAPPA, Mappa did a great job all throughout. Like there weren't any bad animation parts. Uh, I think that in the la latter episodes up until 13, I haven't seen 13 yet, of course, but up in the latter episodes, the cuts were a little bit more jarring, right? It wasn't as fluid, wasn't as smooth. Actually, I guess besides the they had a really, really great episode um, when that member of the six, uh, his name slipping my mind with the drums was dancing and, and that sort of thing. That animation was phenomenal, really fluid, really smooth. So I guess they did have an example, but you know, it seems like up front, right. They had the very fluid animation more so. Whereas like towards the end, right. They still had great animation, but it was a little bit more, you know, disconnected. Uh, it didn't flow as nicely. Um, but overall, like a great job. I think MAPPA has been doing great with animation. Um, it could be better. I'm hoping we see like a, a step up for uh, some of the productions that they're doing in the future, like Jujutsu Kaisen and uh, Attack on Titan. You know, because I think that fluidity, if anything, fluidity is 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 what sells the great animation. So they did a good job there. Um, Story-wise, and, and like I think that God of High School isn't that strong. Um, I mean, obviously... It's it's basically fighting, right? It's fighting its power ups. You know, it's it's almost it's like a very Dragon Ball Z esque show. So that doesn't bother me that much. I wanted good action coming into it. Um, but I think that one of its worst parts is the dialogue. I think it's kind of corny. Um, and and I think that you know it might be because of the quick pacing that you know it, I, I never really grew an emotional connection with you know the main characters like a deep emotional connection right i mean clearly i i do have one it's just not at that like deep level yet right where uh something like my hero right where it's built up over time to where you when you get to the emotional parts it really like taps into your emotions right you really get raw emotions i think demon slayer did this phenomenally in like such a short amount of time right uh not saying that demon slayer isn't like you know, is, is perfect, but it, it demon slayer, the emotional impact in demon slayer was, was like next level. I think that that's why that, that show did so well. But so the emotional impact wasn't really here in my opinion. Um, and I guess the last point I want to address real quick before we go into the episode is the pacing. Now people, you know, are get, are like, you know, giving this thing a tough time uh, or a rough time for its pacing issues, right? How quick it flew through the material. And yes, that had a an effect on character development, right? You know, it feels like we're a little bit more disconnected than these characters than we should be. Um, like I said, the emotional impact isn't as strong. Um, but a lot of times, or a lot of people are, you know, going right for MAPPA and saying, oh, it's MAPPA, you know, making it quick. They're, they're, they're working on too many things, Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, they have separate studios, right? And I'm not sure exactly which one worked on God of High School, but I would imagine that these three episodes that are coming out so, or these three shows that are coming out so close together, they're probably worked on by three different sub 
you know, branches, divisions of MAPA. Um, so at least that's what I'm thinking. But what I think that, that they were aiming to do, and I don't think it's just MAPA. I think it was also, Crunchyroll also had a, 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 a hand in this and probably made this decision as well, is that they wanted to get to a certain point, right? So clearly we're going to get we're probably going to get a Mori power up, right? I mean, like it's almost guaranteed. We could see from posters and stuff. I mean, it's hard not to see that. So they probably wanted to get to this. They probably wanted to get to this moment to generate the most hype that they can because the Mon, you know, the whole Manwa adaption. This is a new, you know, untested ground that they're going to. So they want to try and generate as much hype, as much excitement, as much popularity as they can um, with these, you know eye-catchy, flashy moments so that they can get follow-on seasons. And then I think that if they do, if it succeeds and this 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 marketing strategy succeeds and and they, it gen- they generate enough popularity for more seasons, then they'll be able to slow the pacing down, I think, and take it, you know, because they already built up a fan base. So um, I don't think it's necessarily like a bad thing. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a trade-off, right? Because, you know, they could have taken the first season slow, not gathered an audience at all, and then, boom, you don't have a second season. So it's a trade-off. And, and like I said, I think that generally is, was a good to great show. So it's time, guys. The episode is dropping right now. Uh, I'm going to stop talking uh, and get into the episode. But as a reminder, of course, subscribe. Check the description. You guys know Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, um, and the, the Krasino TV Discord. Guys, if you're watching, join the Discord. I'm serious. It uh, we have a two polls going on right now, determining a couple shows that I'm going to be watching next fall. One is you know a new show, and then an old show. So you know, get in there, vote on that. Um, you guys can influence what I'm going to be watching this upcoming season. So, uh, God of High School season one finale, episode thirteen. Let's get into it. Let's fly for us. <laughs> I mean, they're just hitting us with the title right off the bat. God slash God. I wonder. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, okay, so we, now we know where they were teleported to, the Holy Realm, it was called. And here's Jagal going off about consuming everything. No, I, I mean, I mean, what's his deal? Like, you know, why, why does he want to destroy everything? <laughs> Mori's just spacing out. Is he tapping into that power? That he's got in him? Oh! She said to pull back. She had no time to, to even pull back. Jigal's there. Ooh. Okay, camera movement's good right off the bat. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Jigal's not even sweating here. He's, he just stopped her sword with his fingertip. Ooh. Huh. Okay, we got Mori going in now. <laughs> I mean, at, at, at this point, it's a Mori power up waiting room, right, guys? Uh, I'm, I'm getting Illipio vibes here when he's beaten down on Jagal in the beginning. Telling him to apologize. Okay, so so this technique is supposed to draw out infinite power. Let's let let's see what happens here. Let's let's see. Ooh, okay. Like I said, wow. The I mean, the camera movement is really fluid. It's really nice at the beginning of this episode. I mean, a dynamic camera will 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 make any animation look great. Ooh, okay. So twin blue dragon. It seems it left the crater in the ground, but what did it do to Jagal? Oh, nothing, and he just count he counterattacks too. A hand? Oh, is this the impoverished? He could still use the impoverished? Oh my gosh, and they're huge now too. Ooh, Miris Chariuk is out. Oh, here comes this. Who that? Oh, Lord of Pierce Dawe. Oh, and he's smiling, saying to run. 
Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Preparations for the. Is this a is this a memory is is this a memory? <laughs> My king. <laughs> Noi Noibo. What? What the heck is coming down from the sky? Noibo. <laughs> Even the key's guardian? What does this say? <laughs> I mean, we were waiting for this, guys. We all knew it was coming. <laughs> Seiten Taisei? Right, this is, he recognizes that big pillar? <laughs> Look at everyone looking on. Yari yari. <laughs> Noibo. Oh, I guess it's his weapon. Oh, so like this. Uh, now I wonder if that were me if that was Mori's memories or memories of something within him, because he rec clearly recognizes the weapon. <laughs> oh, the impact frames are good. Camera movements good. <laughs> Ooh, the impoverished coming out of nowhere too. Wow, look at look at the power up that he gets with just this this staff here. Oh, right through the right right through that that thing's eye. Oh, this is I mean this is this is a brawl that's going on right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're just exchanging blows. I gotta say though, like, like I'm telling you, Mappa is next level with their camera movement. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So far, the, the, it's not as, like, the animation, it's not as fluid as I want it to be. Ooh. <laughs> Just extends the staff. Ooh, Mori sprinting up the staff? Oh, what's he about to, what's he about to unleash too? Oh, just never mind. It's just a it's just a clean punch to the face. And he's calling everyone's names too. Oh, the mu- I mean, the- I I'm just hearing the music kick in, too. It was- It was in the background, but now it's in the foreground. I could really hear this. Ooh, a lot of power behind that... ...shot, too. He comes crashing down like a meteor right into, uh, Jagal's back. Yep. See, I, I I was I was saying before I'm getting flashbacks to Ilipio beating up on Jagal. Oh, more. Kinto Un, more. He's got his hand up. Was he? He's going for the knockout blow here. <laughs> Jagal's eyes are like. Ooh, look at the beads around his hand and everything. Really cool. Fall. Oh my lord! <laughs> that impact frame! He can like control thunder? Lightning? And everyone's watching too. All the citizens of Seoul. Unlike us, his power isn't borrowed at all. He's a god in the flesh. <laughs> the monkey king. Oh, well. I guess we know what he is, huh? Here, look at this guy. Man, Doc, he's just, he's just holding that pose the whole time. What's he doing? Oh, that drained him, huh? Still got the crown on, though. 
Oh, he's just hungry. <laughs> like, uh, like, a, like a true shonen protagonist. Oh, is it, is it, is it squeezing his head? Oh, is, is Jake all squeezing the crown? Look, he's like drained of all energy. Oh, not a good look. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got people coming out of his back. Was it the ones that he, uh, ingested before? Look, he just, tur he turned into like a blob. Now, now, I mean, when are the commissioners going to get into this? I mean, everyone, the six, the commissioners are just watching from the sidelines. I'm calling it. Or no. Or are they not going to help out? What are they doing? Just watching. He probably doesn't have the power left. Watch. Yep, I knew it. Jiggle's getting a beat down in too. <laughs> There's Ilpio. <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was a squad of three. We got a squad of four now. <laughs> Look at them all. Ooh, we got a little lyrical video or uh, music coming in too. Ooh, nice impact frame. Night parade of a hundred demons. <laughs> I mean, I'm still a little confused though. Like, what is everyone else doing? Just watching? Ooh, I mean, th the song kind of slaps though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, look, a little team up attack. <laughs> I, I mean, to be honest, he launched him, and it was a, it was a little weak. <laughs> Imperial Divine Dragon Fang. Oh, look! It looked it kind of looked uh, like crystallized too. Oh, it's like it's like freezing. <laughs> look at this guy. He's giving it, giving a smirk. Oh, is is the grandson helping out on the inside? Oh, shattered him too. <laughs> People of soul, little kids, just like look, dragons. Oh, that's cool. Right in, right in the the clouds. Ooh, Jay Gall flashback, huh? Oh. He's getting devoured by the impoverished. Look at that. Ooh. Ilipio coming out of nowhere to help him. Hmm. Interesting motivations by Jay Gall. I mean, maybe it got fleshed out better in the Manwa, but it just... I didn't see his reason, you know. I I I I need I needed to get a little bit more from Jagal. Oh Lord, but she she, she 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 she's wandering into something bad. Watch, she's gonna discover something bad. The six summoning. Is this one of the six in here? Ooh, he's still missing his arm too. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, she woke up one of the six. Wow, that was quick. I didn't think that we'd see this really quickly. <laughs> the, the little chibi characters are too. They're too funny. Look at those eyebrows, though. <laughs> 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 Ooh, 
Oh, she grants the wish to the winners. Watch, it's going to be... Oh, yeah, he's got to think about everyone else's wish. It's going to be to bring back Saul. Watch. Is it going to be to restore the city? Restore their, their limbs? Oh, yeah, and Dawei's, Dawei's boy passed on already. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be the city. Dang, this, she's mad powerful. I mean, I wonder what what the conditions of this this her power is too, because I you, she probably just can't make any wish, you know, in you know at any time, right? I mean, I'd be pretty broken. Ooh, they got their limbs back. What a guy Mori is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Crazy, Dawe. He's thinking of like this is where I could take my power. This is my evolution, my final form. Oh. oh, he died. <laughs> and Mori's shiny too. Oh, she probably's got to like, she probably has to like power up or something. Because she mentioned the two weeks early. That's why they probably have it at a certain date. She has to power up for a certain date. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, he still has the crown on. Now it's gone. So where are we going? What are they going to tease us with, right? I mean, I, I think they have to they have to hit us with a uh, pretty strong cliffhanger. You know, keep people coming back for more, keep people wanting more. Ooh, the ending's playing. Big brother. Interesting. I mean, they they look pretty far apart in age. <laughs> Mujin's already scheming behind the scenes. Ooh, this guy. What? Um, Mandok is making his public appearance. Ooh, it, what, that's one of the commissioners too, right? Is that? Is he a mole? Or maybe he is on the inside? I don't know. Right, and then, you know, Jin Tae Jin has gone. Three months? No way, he was asleep for three months? That's insane. <laughs> His account is Ilpio, that's it. Ooh, so the, so the key is basically a way to destroy the gods. There we go. Seiten Taisei. Seiten Taisei. I wonder what, what, that, what does that translate to? Oh, so they are his memories. There it is. They're going for the grandfather. Okay, cool. I, I thought I, I thought it was going to be done. Here, here's the tease. Here's the season two cliffhanger tease. So, okay, somebody talk about bringing a new god. So maybe this is Nox. Okay, there's Jin Taejin. When I, when, I, when I saw the prison, I, I, I knew it would be him. And against me? I interesting. Against me. Does that have something to do with him possibly being, I don't know, evil or something?
who, who knows? Well, I, I guess we'll see in the next season if we get it, guys. But that's going to be it. That's going to be uh, God of High School uh, Season 1, Episode 13, the season finale. That was it. Uh, you know, it was a good episode, guys. I, I did enjoy it. Um, you know, we see the final battle between Morty and... Um, well, Mori and everyone together uh, against Jagal. You know, Mori awakens Seite Tyson, Seiten Taise, so, something like that, right? I think I got the name right one of those two times. Uh, he he awakens his power, and Mujin basically says that he is the god. He's not borrowing the god's power, at least in that moment. So this is interesting. You know, you know, Mori's got these these memories sealed away. You know, and and I guess as we see those memories get unsealed, we'll see. You know, what kind of background does he have? Is he the god? Or, you know, or you know, or is he you know a relative of the god, a descendant of the god? We don't know. You know, because it's not borrowed power. It's his power. It's he is the god in that moment. So, um, you know. There's, there's, there's many questions surrounding exactly what Mori is. It seems like he's traveling to like some sort of uh, origin of this this god, you know, at least in the next arc, something like that. So um, if you guys want to see my, uh, re- I guess, review of the first season, you know, go back to the first part of this episode. I gave a little breakdown of what I thought. Um, for episode 13, I guess those, those thoughts basically stayed true. They stayed basically the same. Um, you know, it was... A good fight, and I enjoyed it a lot. But it, it just, you know, the camera movement was great, and Mappa does that great. But it just wasn't as fluid as I would hope it would be. It didn't flow as smooth. It was like the cuts were a little jarring. The frame rate wasn't there. Um, and you know, if if you think I'm talking out of my ass, and I'm you know just saying like random things, be like, oh, blah blah blah. You know, you can't expect this. This is Mappa's highest quality. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, go to my video, or just you know, go to the Jujutsu Kaisen third promo video, right? Uh, there's a fight and there's two characters fighting. I don't know the characters names, right? Cause I haven't watched the show yet. I haven't read the manga and they're fighting and you could see the camera pan around them as they're doing, I think they're doing like a hand to hand combat and you could see how fluid and smooth the animation is, right? The, the camera's moving smooth, but the characters, they're not like, it's not janky, right? You know, there aren't many frames that you have to interpolate like with your brain. It, you know, it's very smooth. It's all on the screen. Go watch that. And then, like, that's what I'm talking about, right? In these hype moments, you like to see that fluidity. So it wasn't really that present in this episode. It wasn't really present in the whole season. In the beginning of the season, it was. Um, I, there was a fight in the God of High School tournament, uh, the one where Mori interjects. Uh, that fight between uh, those guys, I don't even remember their names now. Um, that one was very fluid as well. So hopefully we get... Um, that kind of fluidity and the other map of shows coming out, like the big ones like Attack on Titan and Jujutsu Kaisen. So uh, overall, I'd say if I had to slap a number on this one, I'm, th- I'm thinking around 7, 8, probably, probably, probably more in the 7s, to be honest. Um, and as a summary, fights were pretty good. You know, animation was like pretty, pretty good. Uh, you know, overall, generally consistent, um, not as fluid as I would hope. Camera movement, you know, dynamic camera movement in these action sequences was great. Uh, dialogue was kind of corny. Story really wasn't like it was just OK. So I- I'd say I'd be comfortable with some a number in the seven. So, uh, you know, great show, though. Uh, you know, I, 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 you know, personally, if you had to measure it from enjoyment, I enjoyed it. Right. I enjoyed watching the season. Uh, it, you know, it was it was a good time. So, um if you like, if you liked my reaction series on the God of High School, guys, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? I have a ton of content coming, you know, this upcoming season in the fall. You guys are not going to want to miss out on that. Um, and then check the description as well. We have a lot of socials down there, like Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and then the Casano TV Discord, guys. Join this, and then you'll be able to interact with me on the daily. We have polls going on right now for shows that I'm going to be watching upcoming in the fall. So uh, thank you guys so much for supporting and for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.